Hello Libra, it's time for your weekly 1st through the 7th of December love reading with Irish Donna Tarot. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, please like, subscribe, share. Uh, all the information for our contest to win a reading is in the description box as is private reading information, how to book, and our Black Friday secret sale. So not so secret once you read about it. All right, let's get started. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Devil card. That's Capricorn energy. So let's put that right here, Libra. And let's cut the deck. I am going to clarify the, the cards also in the reading with the Naked Heart deck. This is Rider Waite. Okay. Wow, I can't believe that. I got this energy for Virgo, too. Past current mutual energy is a Ten of Cups, a wonderful, happy relationship, a long-term relationship of some sort, um, maybe with children, uh, but it could just be people who live in a marriage-like situation or relationship. The current mutual energy is, woo, you guys have a burning passion. You're on a mission. The Ace of Swords, you might sign documents, paperwork. Uh, this can indicate also cutting through to the truth. It can also uh, indicate getting information. All right, how does your person that you're thinking about that you came to this reading for view you? Ooh, it's somebody who's really tricky, clever, smart, strategic. Could even be a little lack of trust here. <laughs> like, okay, I'm going to snoop now. And so that's interesting. Your person views you, Libra, as somebody who would uh, spy on others. All right, how do they feel in their emotions? Oh, beautiful, love, abundant. They want to hug you and kiss you and you're beautiful. And they just think like, wow, you are just the most magnificent. You're the queen of the queens. That's how they feel. That's abundant love, okay? And then how do they, um, what do they see going forward or what is, what do they want to see in the future? Ooh, they want the queen of pentacles. They want financial abundance with you. And this is kind of a mothering, nurturing energy, which look at this, very mothering, nurturing. And you know, a really good mom will know how to bring home some coin too. So that's what I'm seeing there. Hidden factors, Libra. Feeling defensive. This person sometimes feels defensive. They're tired. They're weary worn. They've had some sort of a struggle that's gone on in their life. Some battle that they feel. And I'm not sure whether it's you or with someone else, but we'll clarify that. Uh, the advice from the Tarot is to take it slow and easy, be very deliberate. Whatever goes on this week is focus on your money, focus on practical matters. And what is the outcome? Magician card. Wow. Okay, so you guys, that's Gemini energy. You're manifesting something. We have some Virgo energy here. We have the Capricorn energy. You know, our Empress over here is Taurus energy. The Seven of Swords is uh, Aquarius energy. So this is really interesting, sort of freedom-loving Aquarius energy. Uh, the Nine of Wands, you know, is sort of a, well, it's the Ninth House. It's Sagittarius. Um, the Eight of Wands moving forward really rapidly here is Sagittarius energy. And we have the Ace of Swords, which is just air sign energy generally and the Ten of Cups energy, which is Pisces energy. So, we've so, and we have Capricorn here. So lots of energy. Hmm. But your outcome is Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and clarify these cards. So Libra, Libra, Libra. Lot of very interesting energy here for you. Let's see, why is the Ten of Cups here for Libra? Why is the Ten of Cups here for Libra? Why is the Ten of Cups here for Libra? Why is the Ten of Cups here for Libra? Why is the Ten of Cups here for Libra? Okay. Ten of Cups is, okay, this, I'm, okay. Ten of Cups, oh wow, Libra. Okay, so somebody's getting a divorce. This is crazy that happened in the Virgo reading too. So I don't know if there's any Virgos that have a lot of um, Libra planets, which is possible because Mercury and Venus, which also affects these readings, can only travel so many degrees away from your sun. 
So that's not too surprising, actually. The Three of Coins, you know, collaboration. Three of Coins, again, we get a lot of threes. We have third-party energy, typically. And what else? Let's see, Four of Wands, stability here. So you have stability. Somebody has stability in this marriage. And how do they feel about the marriage? Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. This person does not look like they want to leave the marriage, okay? So why is why is the Eight of Wands here as mutual energy? Well, but, you know, let me backtrack a little bit because this Ten of Cups is typically the mutual energy in the past between the two of you. So, Libra, this could be your significant, this could be your spouse who could be, you could be cheating or they could be cheating, but it looks like, looks like they would be cheating. All right, let's look at why the Eight of Wands is here. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Okay, the World card. You're fat, you're quickly moving forward with passionate energy to worry about something, which is the death card. Wow. Oh, Innocence of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. Is everybody healthy in that? Well, we can't ask health questions, but let's just see what other energy is here. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead. I want to look at this really quickly. So we have movement of wands, which again is in and out player energy. In this case, I'm going to say it's player energy because we have the sneaky peek card. We have somebody who feels defensive. We have somebody who's keeping secrets. We have the devil card, which is temptation. Okay. And so the mutual energy between you and the other person the other person is married is what it looks like to me. So Libra, this is your energy with your person. Currently, you have a good relationship. You have a lot of passion. This person comes in and out, sneaks over to see you. Um, it does look like this in, innocence of pentacles would be the page of pentacles. So you guys probably met at work or you talk about work a lot. Death, there's going to be some really big transformation coming in here. And it shows that both of you are passionately moving towards that transformation, but it causes you a great deal of worry. Okay, so let's see what else is going on. Why is this ace of swords here? Why is the ace of swords here? Equal give and take, and that is on your person's mind that you're dealing with. They want equal give and take, and the Spirit of Swords is Aquarius energy. So some desire for freedom, you know, equal give and take, freedom, a very much more like a very egalitarian relationship, very equal. Okay, why is the Seven of Swords here? Eight of Swords, and that, that energy is how they view you. Self-imposed restriction. This person thinks you probably are checking out their Facebook page or they're checking yours out. They also feel as though they view you as an absolute rock star, Libra. The Eight of Swords is Gemini energy once again. So I think we have Libra with an involvement with a Gemini here. All right. And the star card is really a beautiful card. It means that your person really views you as unusual and beautiful with an inner core of love. Uh, beautiful inside, beautiful outside, but they also view you as somebody who's not really willing to um, let your guard down right now. Eight of Swords, self-imposed restriction. You may have even told this person that you didn't want to see them unless they get a divorce, okay? So let's see what the Empress card is here. The Innocence of Swords, that's a page of swords. Mm. Sky Father, which is the Emperor card, and the Heart of Pentacles, which is the King of Pentacles. Well, for someone here that this resonates with, it really does look like, let me see this. If we have an, yeah, the Ace of Wands here, wait a minute. Okay, no, it was the Ace of Pentacles, okay. So if we have the Ace of Wands here, we could have an unexpected pregnancy, but I'm not seeing the Ace of Wands. I saw the page, the Page of Wands. So we have Eight of Wands here. 
this could uh, have an outside chance of meaning that we have a Libra who is carrying the child of a married lover and they want, <clears throat> they want this child and they'll raise the child together. <clears throat> Again, Libra has some self-imposed restriction here. Your partner, your person of interest thinks that you're really beautiful. Heart of Pentacles is a fatherhood card. That's the king of um, the king of Pentacles, the queen of Pentacles, soulmate, divine partnership here. All right, we have the Sky Father, which is the Hierophant. I mean, I'm sorry, the Emperor card to go with the Empress. So now we have a double divine partnership card. So I think we're looking at a twin flame situation. Um, the Innocence of Swords is, um, it looks as though that could be possibly a baby and there's been some sort of discussion about, you know, about the possibility. It, there, I hate to say it, but, you know, swords usually mean surgery of some kind. I'll leave it at that. And Eight of Swords says that Libra is not going to have any kind of, you know, you're you're not having anything. This is all your idea. Whatever's going on will be your decision if it concerns your body. So I do get the Queen of Pentacles. That is you, Libra. Um, this is how your person really wants to move forward with you, and that's equal give and take. But they view you as somebody who's very upset and who, you know, needs to recover, heal from the situation. They want you to heal. They want you to be okay. Six of Wands, they want a victory in the situation. Ace of Wands, here we go. There's your pregnancy card right there. There is the pregnancy card right there. The Ace of Wands and the Three of or the Empress card, next to each other. They have to be next to each other. It, typically, this is not, I'm not predicting medical predictions, but that's spiritually the message or the connotation of the reading. Ten of Wands um, could be difficult to work, so somebody probably has a job that would make it difficult. We've got the Hierophant here. That's a very hot, that is, the Hierophant is a very traditional relationship. So Libra, that's what you want. You want to marry your person. And uh, let's see what's hidden here. Why is this uh, Nine of Wands hidden? Two of Swords, he doesn't want to change anything. Why is your partner, why do you have this hidden factor? What's this hidden factor? Four of Cups, Boredom, Nine of Pentacles, Libra, that is the Nine of Pentacles, it's a Virgo energy. Again, not unusual, the Spirit of Cups is Pisces energy. Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands again. Moving forward rapidly, but not really talking about it, not communicating about it. Spirit of Cups, again, that's the King of Cups card. Uh, Nine of Pentacles to a single woman, Four of Cups, meaning a sense of dissatisfaction. Okay, well, it's a mixed bag here. It looks as though there's probably a pregnancy with a twin flame situation in which the person's feeling very hesitant about getting out of their marriage. I do get, though, that the advice is justice. You have to equal it out. Libra, it, it, it's basically the advice is cut this person out if they're not going to be reliable. So reliability and balance and being able to marry the person and have them share equally in your responsibility is key. Nobody gets a free ride for passion, right? I mean, in essence. Okay. The Ten of Cups also says love each other. You should marry. Again, this Ten of Cups, it's like leaving one marriage to go to another. It also, there is another way to read this situation, and it can be that there's an unexpected pregnancy, and due to financial reasons, there's a lot of worry and concern about the future if you were to have the baby now. That would affect two different sorts of um, profiles for Libra. Somebody who's very young and who hasn't finished college or who may be getting their um, 
you know, like somebody who's going to medical school, where it's a real, it's going to be a very enriching kind of a job and career. But it does say basically, you know, do do what is going to balance out the situation, do it with love. You know, wait right now. Probably wait for twelve days to make a decision. And the Heart of Cups is a Queen of Cups. That's a Motherhood card. The Three of Wands, look at the distant future. And the Eight of Cups, leave emotion out of it a little bit here. So this is really a scenario that tells me a lot of different stories. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a young couple that maybe just got married and they want to have children, but they didn't expect the pregnancy. It's somebody who is single, who is with a partner and they don't know what to do financially about the timing that they have in school. Really, really complex. And then it looks like, you know, it just could be a married couple who has, doesn't believe in really, you know, doing anything to change the number of the baby count or whatever. They would just accept whatever um, spirit has to give them, but they're worried about their finances. And so it's been suggested by other people. It does show secrecy here with the moon. It does show movement of swords, which is a knight of swords. So there just may be a really big decision here going on for some of you. Temperance card is that by the end of the week, you'll have a balanced outlook on this. You'll come to an agreement with it, about it, and with it, and that's Sagittarius energy. So Sagittarius is a planet of spirituality, okay? So that's ninth house. That's, uh, you know, whatever we believe about religion. And here we have it too, Hierophant, the Sage. Okay, why is the Devil card here? Why is the Devil card here? A betrayal. Okay. King of Pentacles, here we, we've had the King of Pentacles show up twice now. Okay, so a man who's very successful has betrayed somebody with whom he is a soulmate. Six of Cups, that's a minor arcana. We can have more than one soulmate. You can have a soulmate who could become a karmic partner. You could have a twin flame, which is a divine partner. Movement of Pentacles, slow moving energy again. So basically the devil card is just about temptation that caused a situation that feels like betrayal. So again, I'm going to wrap it up here. That's what I have for you, Libra. Um, please uh, subscribe, like, share, comment, thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know what you think. Um, it does look like it's a number of storylines, all sort of divergent based on this Three of Swords card. All right. Thanks, Libra. Have a happy week. Bye.